Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp. We are at 28th day of May Lead Code Challenge and the problem we are going to cover in this video is maximum error show value. The input given here is an integer array and we have to return an integer value again which is the maximum score we can get by erasing exactly one subarray. And it is given that we want to erase a subarray containing unique elements. So if you go to the hints section, they have directly given the answer itself. That is the main point here is for the subarray to contain unique elements for each index. So only the first subarray starting from that index have unique elements. And we can approach this using a two-pointer technique. So let's understand this problem and its approach with an example. So here is a given example array. And in problem statement, they said that we have to erase a subarray with maximum sum and with unique elements. Ignoring the erasing and stuff, it directly says we want to find a subarray whose sum is maximum and which should have unique elements. So we know to find a subarray whose sum is maximum using a sliding window technique. We have two pointers i and j pointing at every window size to find the maximum subarray. And again, we are going to use the same two pointer technique in order to find whether they have unique elements or not by the hint given. So let's go for a very quick dry run before getting into the coding part. So this is our given input array and we are going to have two pointers. Both are going to start at the very starting index of the array and move to every window size to find an array which is having unique elements and maximum sum. To help us, we are going to have three variables. The first one is sum which is going to keep track of sum of the current window and the second variable is max which is going to keep track of the maximum sum of subarray so far and a set which is going to hold the already present elements. So if the element is already present, we are going to fix a window size to some subarray which is having unique elements. So let's start iterating our pointers. Now the job of our pointer j is to scan the array and job of our i is to move to fix the window size only if our j points at an element which is already present. So let's start iterating. Both are at index 0. And let's move j to the next element and the next element is 2. So let's update our three variables now. Sum is nothing but what are the elements between the window size i and j. So let's update sum and max is nothing but the maximum value so far. And here in set we have updated the values we have encountered which is 4 and 2. So j moves now to encounter our next element which is actually already present in our set which means we have come to a window size that the elements are not unique. So in that case, we have calculated the sum so far till this position. So let's move our pointer i to the next position so that we will fix a different window size to check whether the sum is maximum. So now let's update all three variables. So in this case, we are going to remove this element's value and add the element at j. But in that case, both the elements are equal. So our sum and max going to stay same. But if the value was 3, in that case, we will subtract 3 and add 4. But that is not needed in this case. So again, 4 and 2 are the elements in the window right now. So again, our set is going to stay the same. So now our j is going to move and scan our rest of our array till it finds a repeated value. J moves to 5. 5 is not already present in the set, which means it is a unique value. So update our sum and max and set as well. So if you update the value, it is going to become 11 and set is added with 5. So let's move J to scan the next element, which is 6, which is already not present in the set. So let's update all three variables. Now our sum, max and set has been updated with values. Our iteration ends as there are no elements left and we have found the longest subarray with unique elements and we have our variable max with sum of that array. So let's return max as our output. So hope you're understanding this solution. We are iterating our array only once and that is going to take big go of n time complexity. So let's go to coding now. So as I said, let's declare our variables. So now we have our pointers i and j starting from the 0th index and iterate till end of our array. 
and we are going to check if our set is already present with the value or not. If it is not present with the value, then we are going to update all three variables where sum is equal to, we are going to add the new element we scanned using our J pointer and we are going to update our max as well. And update our set and once we updated all the values let's move J to the next position to scan if not if the value is already present then in that case we have to move our I pointer so before moving I we are going to subtract the value at I from our sum And remove the value from the set as the window is not going to have that element anymore. And then increment i or move one position i. So yes, this is it. Once the iteration is completed, our max is going to have our result. So finally return our max. So yes, let's run and try. Yes, so let's submit. Yes, the solution is accepted and runs in 48 milliseconds. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe and let me know in comments. Thank you.